because of uh, the Drop Fair Casa Pohatki, I was contacted by a comics publisher in the Czech Republic. So I am doing a comic right now for um, uh, a, mag a comics magazine called ARG. It comes out of uh, Bratislava. Uh, or maybe out of Brno. I think it's out of Brno, which is the second largest city in the Czech Republic. Um, yeah, Bratislava is in Slovakia. But um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. It's going to be in Czech, but I'm going to do a, a version for the locals. But yeah, I'm really excited to do a traditional comic. Excellent. No, I'll just be working on animation and working on our next film, actually, for the next year, probably. Any upcoming? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I I'm, I'm, uh, would love to. Well, actually, I've started writing a like, more traditional narrative about uh, some experiences I had on the Trans-Siberian uh, Railway, so um, that's, that would look more like a traditional graphic novel. But I'm going to keep doing Ojingo, too, because, like I said, it's so much fun. It's a really uh, great exercise, I think, as, uh, as an artist. I, I don't think it's often that the uh, sort of exercise comics, ones that one does sort of just on the spur of the moment, come off as compellingly as yours, so or as readable. That I mean, I guess I would assume a lot of people do that, but uh, that you end up with something that is publishable, as I think, is a fairly unique thing. Thanks. Uh, any other questions from the audience? I have a quick question, actually. You said you, when you were a kid, you drew all those illustrations for your, your lessons? Yeah. Do you still have those illustrations? I do. My mom's got this huge collection and she's like very, um, yeah, so that's your next book. That's my next book, yeah. I don't think I've developed very much the same thing. Look at uh, it. There, this one's in vector, but you know. All right, well, I'm just going to say a few words to bring this around to where we started, which was talking about uh, the Vizili from uh, line from Drawn and Quarterly. I urge you to uh, check it, check out the rest of these uh, books, either at my uh, at my shop, at Drawn and Quarterly's shop in Montreal, or on, the, on their website. This is a small series of uh, small artist books uh, published by Canada's British comic book publisher, but in this case, uh, not necessarily fitting the traditional mold of uh, books that have been done because, uh, you know, sometimes there are artists that the publisher wants to work with uh, who aren't ready to do a comic or don't have the time to do a comic, or they've done something great that doesn't fit into the mold of what they normally sell, but we, hey, we'd like to get some of this out there. Uh, you can see a lot of really inspiring uh, collections of art, and they're very reasonably priced. We do have one more question, though. Please, go ahead. Uh, I often describe most of it as literary comics, uh, or at, at the term alternative comics gets used often. Uh, uh, they tend to be comics by uh, you know, an individual creator, not a factory system uh, with the uh, endless hands working on it. You, uh, so you get a lot of comics which have a strong personal vision. Drawn and Quarterly is run by a man called Chris Oliveros, who has a fairly uh, clear editorial vision of what he wants to publish. So he's not necessarily looking at uh, what's going to be the next hot thing, but something that uh, really uh, artwork he finds inspiring uh, and something that matches with his taste. So you you have a, uh, a lot of different artists working for them, but a fairly cohesive line, I think. Uh, uh, he's never published a superhero comic. Uh, he stays away from genre generally. Uh, uh, he doesn't do any porn. Uh, that would be a, another sub line he could he could start, I'm sure. But uh, his interests are very much what you would consider from a you know a literary publishing house. And, and uh, there are. There are plenty of interesting graphic novels coming out now from what one would call general publishers, publishers who who do all sorts of things. They've got their cookbook imprint and their uh, travel book imprint, and they also do fiction. But this is not that kind of publisher. This is a uh, and and is all the better for having a, a very clear editorial vision. Uh, uh, 
Uh, thank you very much for coming. I'd like to thank uh, the uh, Word on the Street again for uh, organizing this. Uh, I'd like to remind you all that the next Toronto Comic Arts Festival is in uh, May of next year, and we've got uh, Save the Date cards at the at the table out there. The artists will be uh, at the table right outside the tent signing copies of the books. If I could get the three that I passed around the audience back, that would be great, so I can sell them at the table. Uh, we also uh, would like to thank Via Rail for bringing Matt here from Montreal. And uh, in another 15 minutes, uh, we'll be here for the webcomics panel, and you have to come back. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.